The animation begins in the lively city of Rio de Janeiro, where there's a magical forest filled with all sorts of colorful singing and dancing birds. Among them is a unique little bird known as Space Macaw. But one day, a bunch of them got caught, Space Macaw included, to be sold as pets. However, during the journey, the box holding the special bird fell off the truck. In the midst of this, a girl named Linda discovered him. She decided to take him home and look after him. Time flew by and Linda and the little bird, who she named Blue, became inseparable buddies. But there was a little problem that Blue couldn't fly. Despite this, he was super clever and found ways to get around even accompanying Linda to the bookstore she looked after. He even had a favorite spot there where he hadn't yet tasted the tempting hot chocolate marshmallow. One day, a pair of Canadian geese spotted Blue and tried to chase him. But their pursuit was cut short when a man named Tulio stumbled upon the scene and scared them away. Tulio was a bird expert from a conservation center in Brazil. He told Linda that Blue was a very special bird, a part of an endangered species, and he wished to bring Blue together with a female of his kind to help increase their population. At that time, Linda was really torn about this. She and Blue shared a deep bond and the thought of parting with him hurt her deeply. She wasn't even sure if Blue could fly given she'd never seen him do it. In a demonstration that went wrong, Tulio tossed Blue into the air, and when Blue plummeted down, Linda got really upset and shooed Tulio away. But Tulio was persistent. He genuinely wanted what was best for Blue. So he asked Linda to ponder over it and left his contact details with her, hoping she'd come around for the sake of Blue's survival and the preservation of his kind. In the evening, Blue tried to fly using tips from a book he found. Unfortunately, he ended up getting stuck in some cables. Witnessing this, Linda felt a surge of compassion. She made up her mind to take him to Brazil to help save his kind. Together with Tulio, they headed to a bird farm passing by lots of people dressed up in vibrant outfits, all celebrating Carnival Day. Once they arrived, two friendly birds named Nico and Pedro came up to Blue's cage to say hi. They were thrilled to learn that Blue was there to meet some ladybirds, and they happily shared some advice before heading off. Shortly after, Blue found himself in a bird sanctuary, where lots of birds were getting cared for, rescued from being smuggled. Among them was a parrot named Nigel. But then the moment came for Blue to enter a bird cage, and he felt really scared. That's when Jewel appeared. She was so stunning that Blue couldn't take his eyes off her. He even followed her when she beckoned him to come with her. To Blue's surprise, she showed him a secret way to escape through a vent. Meanwhile, Linda and Tulio were watching everything unfold from the CCTV. Seeing Blue and Jewel getting along so well, they decided to step away for a while. Just then, Silvio, the guard on duty, heard a noise coming from the room where the birds were being treated. He rushed to find Nigel in trouble and quickly went to help him. In a sneaky move, Nigel managed to knock Silvio out and arrange for someone to come inside. At the same time, Blue was trying to reason with Jewel, who seemed to be in a hurry to escape. But suddenly, everything went quiet when he was captured. Elsewhere, Linda and Tulio were enjoying dinner at a restaurant. But their pleasant evening was interrupted when Tulio got a call with terrible news that Blue and Jewel had been stolen. Linda was heartbroken and couldn't help but point fingers at Tulio, even though they both knew Silvio was supposed to be a top-notch guard. Meanwhile, Jewel was trying to figure out a way out of her cage. She came up with a clever plan and encouraged Blue to play dead with her. It turned out their kidnapper was a young boy named Fernando who planned to sell them to a man named Marcel. But their act of playing dead didn't go as planned. Marcel was furious thinking his precious space macaw was no more. In reality, Jewel was just pretending and tried to find an escape route. But before she could make her getaway, Nigel caught her and forced her back into the cage. To make matters worse, Marcel locked her up and chained her together with Blue, preventing any further escape attempts. Next, Marcel instructed Fernando to place Blue and Jewel in a room with lots of other rare birds, sparking Fernando's curiosity about Marcel's intentions. But Marcel brushed him off, refusing to share his plans and even forcing him to leave. At that time, Fernando, who didn't really have anyone else, felt really bad about capturing the space macaw, especially when he realized Marcel intended to sell the rare bird overseas. Meanwhile, Marcel asked his buddies Armando and Tipa to feed Nigel. Later, Nico visited Blue and Jewel and shared a song about a beautiful bird who was once just like them. Not long after, Nigel left, giving Blue and Jewel a chance to make a break for it. They swung their cage towards the window and managed to flee, though their escape was a bit tricky since they were chained together. This meant they had to stick together, running side by side from Marcel and Nigel, who were hot on their trail. Thankfully, the pair managed to give them the slip and sought refuge in the forest. In that moment, Blue was pretty scared, so he suggested they hide in a gazebo nearby. On the other hand, Linda and Tulia were doing their bit to find Blue. They went around the city putting up posters about his disappearance. In the morning, Fernando spotted one of the posters and it struck a chord. 
He knew he had to do the right thing, so he tracked down Linda to tell her Blue's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Marcel was fuming when he realized that his precious space macaw had flown the coop, especially since he was supposed to send it away that very night. Since Armando and Tippo weren't exactly putting in the effort to find the bird, he ordered Michael to take on the search. On the other hand, Blue and Jewel were desperately trying to get rid of the chains, binding them together using rocks, but no luck. Suddenly, a young toucan came over, seemingly to play, but ended up teasing the pair instead. Thankfully, the little bird's dad, Rafal, stepped in to control his kid. When Jewel asked Raphael if he could help them get free of the chains, he had to admit he couldn't. But he knew someone who might be able to help, his friend Louis. In another part of the area, some tourists were enjoying a dance performance by some marmosets. Little did they know, it was a distraction so other marmosets could snatch their belongings. They handed their loot to their leader, Mora, who was having a blast with his newfound treasures. That is until Nigel showed up and brought the party to a halt, demanding Mauro to help find Blue. He even threatened to toss Moro and his pals from the sky if they failed to find Blue before the day was over. Blue was pretty frightened at the idea of flying to Louis's place, but Raphael had a brilliant idea. He suggested tying Blue and Jewel's wings together, which allowed them to use a hang glider for their journey. Unfortunately, a strong gust of wind sent them crashing into a tree at the beach. Not wanting to waste any time, Raphael proposed they hitch a ride on a truck. At the same time, Linda and Tulia were also on board, heading to the location Fernando had informed them about. Due to a massive traffic jam, they decided to swap their car for a motorbike to get there quicker. On the other hand, the truck with Blue and friends reached the marketplace, where they ran into Nico and Pedro. Soon after, they led Blue and Jewel to a different spot, but were spotted by the Marmosets, who quickly informed Mauro. Nico and Pedro then invited Blue and Jewel to a lively bird party happening in Rio, where they both had a great time dancing and getting to know each other better. Soon after, Mauro showed up, wanting to take Blue and Jewel with him, but they resisted. This led to a big scuffle between the birds and the monkeys. Thankfully, Blue and Jewel managed to slip away from Mauro. Shortly after, their adventure continued as they made their way to Lou's workshop. Meanwhile, Linda and Tulio reached the place they were told Blue would be, but he wasn't there. Just then, Armando and Tipa strolled in wearing festive carnival outfits and tried to keep their scheme a secret from Fernando. However, they invited Fernando to join the carnival festivities. Linda and Tulio, who were hiding and overhearing everything, decided to follow them to the carnival. Elsewhere, Nigel found Mauro. He was a bit dazed but managed to inquire about Blue's whereabouts from a little bird nearby. With the new info, Nigel dashed off to find Blue. Over at another place, Blue was mustering up the courage to share his feelings with Jewel, getting help and encouragement from Miko, Pedro, and Rafael. But in the nervous attempt, Blue ended up swallowing a flower. Soon after, they got to Louis' place, where Blue and Jewel were about to other separate ways. Suddenly, Louis, who happens to be a dog, startled them, showing Jewel that dogs and birds could indeed be buddies. Louis even helped them to break free from their chains using just his saliva, which made Jewel really happy as she could fly freely once more. But Blue could only watch Jewel from the ground, feeling a bit left out. Then he decided to head off to find Linda, but Jewel tried to stop him. Despite feeling jealous and unable to fly, Blue was too stubborn to admit it. At that time, they couldn't agree on what to do, so they chose to part ways. Just then, Nico and Pedro, who were flying close by, decided to stick with Jewel. Suddenly, Nigel swooped in and grabbed her, planning to take her to the carnival. In that moment, Nico and Pedro saw everything and hurried to tell Blue what had just happened to Jewel. Together, they rushed to the carnival. Meanwhile, Marcel noticed a not-so-fancy car that had been used for their escape mixed in with the carnival parade. Not long after, Linda and Tulio joined the fun at the carnival, dressed up in bird outfits. They were searching for Blue, but Linda got snagged by a carnival official and ended up on a parade float. Around the same time, Blue and Louis made it to the carnival, blending in with a bustling crowd of revelers. At the same time, Raphael and the gang were frantically searching for Jewel, who was now in Marcel's car. Soon, Blue spotted Linda on a parade float but didn't stop, determined to rescue Jewel. However, he got captured by Nigel, and so did Raphael and the others. Then, Marcel took them all to the airport. Meanwhile, Fernando was trying to leave some clues for Linda and Tulio to find them. On the other hand, Armando and Tippa were busy loading the birds onto a plane. At that time, Fernando tried to set Blue and Jewel free, but Nigel caught him, and it seemed like Marcel was going to punish him. Thankfully, Fernando managed to slip away. Finally, Linda and Tulio quickly got to the airport. There, they tried to stop Marcel's plane by breaking through a fence, but it was no use because the plane took off, and inside the plane, Blue didn't give up. He managed to break out of his cage and help Jewel and the other birds to get free. Blue realized he had some limitations, especially when Nigel seized this moment to attack. Incredibly, 
Blue was able to outsmart Nigel by tying him up with some roots causing the plane to sway and Jewel to fall since her wing was injured. Without a second thought, Blue dived to save her. After all of their journey, Jewel planted a sweet kiss on Blue, magically giving him the power to fly. Then, they flew down to meet Linda and Blue asked Tulio to fix Jewel's wing, so they could fly together freely in the forest, marking a happy end to their adventure. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is if you're a unique bird who can't fly, don't worry, just wait for a magical kiss, and you'll soar through the skies.